What's good, Blackstar Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jared. Y'all, today we're going to be doing a video from a particular short. Now, this is my typical Kendrick G videos, but I just want you to rock with me right quick. Okay? Now, this is a Reddit... This is a Reddit post. So, it's a Reddit Creek. It's from Reddit Creeks. But, I'm going to show you this video, and then... We gonna go through the comment section on this video. Now listen to this. The worst thing a woman has done on a first date. Right before I went out with her, I checked her Twitter and she was live tweeting everything. She was tweeting about her preparation and arrival to meet me, and so on. Throughout the entire date, she was constantly typing on her phone. At that point, I had already concluded that the date was over in my mind. However, I purposely made it even more awkward to see how she would react by the time we finished dinner and drinks. I had made it so uncomfortable and awkward in her tweets. Her tweets were just hilarious. We got up and walked outside and I said, I guess there's no chance of a second date. She asked, what do you mean? I replied, well, you tweeted 17 minutes ago that you're definitely not going out with this guy again. She looked wide-eyed and surprised. I told her that within five minutes of the date, she had tweeted three times and it was incredibly disrespectful to me. So I intentionally made it the worst day possible. She tried to apologize and I accepted it, but I didn't want to see her again. I told her to keep her phone in her pocket on her next date. She learned something valuable that day. What is the worst? All right. So... You heard what happened. She was in her phone, eyes in the phone. But let's go to the comment section. Because this is the crazy part. And this is the second one. So right here. So John Kurtz. Or Justin Kurtz. Worst, I, worst thing I've, see, uh, I've seen was when... They said down, well, hold on, this man can't type over shit. The worst thing I've seen was when they uh, they sat down, she ordered, was when we sat down, she ordered something sitting with, sitting with the man. Suddenly she realized a, she realized a man, a male friend was eating along, alone nearby. She was she excused herself and sat with him chatting. Tom Tom when uh, Tom went by, the food came. She returned to receive her order, and went back to the friend. The first man was the first man that was on the date. Ate quickly, paid for his food, and sent her the check for her own without saying a word to her and left. And apparently, she had the audacity to ask him why he left. Yeah. Bruh can't fucking type worth, a sh worth shit. Met a girl at the gas station, and she invited me over. She got a call and said she had to give up her, had to give her dad a ride. I was informed by her brother that she was indeed taking care of a customer. Now, we know what that means. Now... Here's one that's crazy. I had a date with a girl who was very nice to me, but was also kind of too nice. During during the texting phase, she told me she didn't smoke and was strictly against any drugs as her dad was an alcoholic. Later uh later while later on our date, she turned turned on a joint. The hell does that mean? You mean lit a, lit a blunt, which was illegal at the time in my country of origin, at a restaurant table outside of the outside of the city, main uh main square. Outside on the city's main square. Okay, you guys. I left a five dot a five euro note on the table for my drink and just left. That was the worst day ever. I uh. That was the worst day ever for me. Okay. Here we go. My worst date was me. Uh, was I picked up this girl. She lived with her parents. Took her out to a really nice date. Then a nice dinner. She waited until I paid and said, I'm only looking for friends. Now, that's some bullshit right there if I haven't heard it. I asked why would she, uh, why would she have me pay for everything... And she said, 
I'm already talking to somebody. But I did but don't want to move don't want to move to be with him because he lived three hours away. Then she berated me because I live with my brother and not alone. I almost snapped and left her at the restaurant. <laughs> I would have. But then I decided to take her home and was done with it. A week later, she asked me to go see a movie and thought maybe she was interested. But now, like an idiot, but uh, but like an idiot, I was wrong. I wouldn't have damn fucking went on a date. <sighs> okay. I had I had met her this time, and before we saw the movie, she told me that she was meeting someone after, and wanted to have wanted to kill some time. I just left, even though I've already bought the a ticket. I found out later that she was getting that she was getting guys to pay for things while she waited to move to her long time boy long distance boyfriend. The best part is the person that she set that set us up showed me his Facebook and you could tell that he was a meth head. Oh my god. Here's another one. So I went on so I went on on a first date with a girl I met on, on a dating site. These people can't type worth a fuck. We met at a super small park close to the restaurant. We talked and flirted for a few minutes. Then we stood up and she realized she was notably taller than me, like her eyes were on my forehead. Then she told me she then she told me she was sorry, but uh but we could should we should be just be friends. Um Yeah. I would have told that bitch go kick rocks. Here's a final one that put the nail in the coffin. I dated I dated a girl. They called my kids baggage on the first date and tried and I tried my best to be polite and ask her not to call my kids that. And was and truly worried if she was even bothered to read my bio. She ran into a guy that she went to what that went to high school with. Started flirt and started flirting and started making plans as he was pretty good looking. Okay. What she didn't know was I had already done I was already done. Anyways, I had already paid for the check and knew that he was the biggest douchebag douche nozzle since you can already tell what it is. Guy spreaded herpes and other STDs like crazy. And then said that said what well, uh, it was everybody's problem. I ducked out. <laughs> it was on the phone with the babysitter and saw them start fooling around in the parking lot, and then the cops came. Damn. Long story short, he had a bad rep with the police, so they searched his car, found a whole a whole assortment of pills and other drugs. I felt bad. For, I felt bad about being treated like crap, but then. I was like, God still loves me. Now, what does this all have to say about today's modern day dating? And sorry about the reading, but guys, y'all y'all can see that these people can't type to save their fucking life. But what does this mean? Okay. These women intentionally went on dates with men that they wasn't attracted to just for them to pay for the date. One of them went on a date so that she could get a foodie uh, because she just wanted the guy to pay for his food, for her food. That tells me that a lot of these women are so shallow to the point where they will literally go out on a date with a guy and had a guy pay for the date. And then screw that guy over. Now, ladies, let's let's talk about it. Y'all want to know why men aren't approaching y'all anymore and taking y'all on dates, or saying that we gonna do we gonna go to the park or we gonna go to get some ice cream? It's because they're cheap dates. We don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about uh, spending an exorbitant amount of money on a date. We don't have to worry about it. And the problem is. The reason why y'all are mad is because y'all believe and feel 
that a man should be spending four or five hundred dollars on a date when in fact you that man don't owe you jack shit. Y'all have literally bumped y'all heads to the point where y'all believe that y'all deserve everything under the damn sun just because you got a punani. Ladies, that ain't how this shit worked no more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hurt your damn heart. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. But men ain't doing that shit no more. Men are tired men are tired of having to take y'all on dates and then y'all stand them up or take y'all on dates and y'all go over to talk to y'all friends or hang out with y'all friends or get y'all back blown out by the guy that's literally spreading damn STDs around this bitch like it's a motherfucking uh, like it's motherfucking candy. But I'm going to say this. Ladies, y'all have caused this. Y'all have caused this. Y'all y'all can't blame men for this. Y'all have done this. But anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast, and subscribe to the com. This your boy Jared, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.